Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm the Simviator. Uh, I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but um, as if anybody who was following me on Instagram knows, uh, I got the Real Sim Gear GNS 430, so my cockpit is pretty much complete. Uh, everything that I, I need to do, what I like to do, uh, I now have it. So um, I saw in one of the comments uh, for YouTube... And I don't want to butcher his name here, so I'm going to go make sure. Spencer Fidelis uh, requested a flight from Oslo to Stordal in Norway. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, if, you, if anybody wants a uh, flight or anything like that, they want to see an airport, they want me to fly to an airport, or want me to depart from an airport, or depart from an airport and fly to another airport, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments, uh, and I'll give you a shout out. So, Spencer, we're going to do your flight today. Uh, so, we're in Oslo right now. Uh, we're a bit east of the actual city at, uh, and, and, Pardon my pronunciation. Uh, I don't know a lot of Nordic, Nordic language. Uh, I'm not that great at um, saying the dialect that comes along with it. But uh, we're at uh, Keeler Air Force Base. So we're going to be going from air base to air base. Um, and apparently air base, the air base that we're flying to used to be uh, an air base that belonged to Adolf Hitler during World War II. Um, it's now used for Norway's military base, I guess an air force base. And they also, um, have other branches from like the U S military will go there. So, uh, we're going to be going from air base to air base. I believe this one's a defunct air base, but it's still used for air shows. I did a little bit of research on it, but, um, this is just a, uh, kind of uncontrolled field. Um, so I'm not going to be, uh, doing ATC. I'm not going to be, um, dialing up the flight plan in here. It's already been dialed up in the actual SIM. I'll do that when I get a flight plan from a, like doing a VAT SIM event or something, or maybe another, another time I'll, I'll use, uh, I believe Simbrief is the one that runs with Navigraph that I have here. I will use Simbrief, and, and then I'll plug them in. But for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use it as a pre-programmed. And, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get the flight going. I'm in the, uh, I believe it's Just Flight uh, Piper Aero 4. Uh, it's the Turbo Aero. Uh, Turbo Aero. And uh, the reason that I'm using this airplane versus the Bonanza, the one that I've been using a lot, is because the one drawback with the GNS 430 is you can't use it unless the actual plane that you're using in the sim uh, uses it. So if you have a 530, you could use, say, the Mooney. That's a DLC. Uh, that has only a 530 in it. Um, that's one that I really wanted to use, but it doesn't have the 430. What's nice about this one is you can use the 530, the 430, uh, and it has like two other ones that will actually switch out and, uh, you can use. So, um, I flew this a couple times. I will in full disclosure, say the two times that I've landed this airplane, I bounced it off the runway. Uh, I'm trying to use similar speeds for landing and stuff. Um, that the Bonanza uses, but it just handles a bit different. Uh, so, and the Bonanza was a Microsoft Flight Simulator plane versus this is a third-party DLC that worked really hard to make this. This is a really nice plane, so um, that's what we're going to be flying for the time being because I need something that has a little bit more speed than just uh, Cessna 172. But, uh, yeah. That being said, I'll stop ranting and um, we'll get this flight underway. So, hope you guys enjoy it. All right. Get our lights. 
lights on. I have not messed with the uh, autopilot on this, so I don't know a whole lot about... I have the other Piper Arrow from uh, Serenado. Uh, I did purchase that one, so I'm slightly familiar, but I don't, I'm don't. i going to do the best that I can to... Because uh, I know that that one, I think, has an autopilot, so we'll go ahead and see if... I know this one does too, but I'm just not sure if it works as seamlessly as like the Bonanzas or... Uh, Obviously, like the, the private jets and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm not going to bring this up on the screen, the Navigraph, until we're on our approach because there's no taxi uh, overlay for this airport here. There's no departures, it's all direct. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take off and then we're going to. Uh, jump on this magenta line here and then we'll start our, our trek toward uh, I forgot the city we're going to already but you know alright release the parking brake and we'll go ahead and chop that guy up sorry buddy Looks like it's working beautifully. We'll go keep our taxi light on. We're gonna back taxi to um, this runway here to our left because it's the shortest route. Rudder pedals are probably gonna be the last thing I end up purchasing for this sim. Uh, I gotta figure out how I'm going to work them and put them here because. I'm not sitting at a normal desk, I'm sitting at a TV stand, actually, so... While this sits at a nice height, uh, it does require a little bit of finesse when it comes to rudder pedals. Alright, we'll spin it. There we go. So we'll depart be departing uh, Keller, uh, runway 30. Landing light on, taxi light off, and here we go. Again, we have one notch of one notch of flaps is set, so and we're gonna rotate it about 80 knots. Oh boy! Oh yeah. Okay. All right. We are airborne. Good reason. Positive brake gear up. Flap up here. Very good reason as to why uh, I would need rudder pedals because this turbo piper was all over the place on that takeoff. And as you can see, we are on uh, pretty much the magenta line, so. Go ahead and there we go. All right. Okay, we're in autopilot now. Starting at 2500, and I'm going to go ahead. This is a really odd thing for me to be doing because I don't really know uh, overseas procedure like I do with uh, American flight procedure, but um, we'll go ahead and climb to 6000 here. Fuel pump off now that we are uh, taking 
off. We're climbing out now. Turn our landing light off too. Wonder if this will. Okay, so it's VSing. We'll go a thousand feet per minute. We can definitely manage that because we got a lot of power in this, uh, this plane here.
Alright, so this plane does not have a altitude selector. Instead, it just rolls strictly on uh, the vertical speed indicator. So we're going to hold it here at um, 9,000. Drop at 60 uh, feet, get level right at 9,000. And as we uh, approach our destination, we will um, begin a descent. All right, so we're level at 9,000. selector. I'll wait till the left tank gets to about uh, in between half and a quarter and I'll put the switch on it. It's about a two hour flight. Obviously you won't be with me for the whole thing. I wouldn't put you through that but we'll uh, put the cameras off and Back on our approach. This is probably where we're going to stay the entire time. So. As you can see, we're about to make a right hand turn. I don't know if anyone can see the magenta line there, but. Once we make this right hand turn, it's pretty much going to be just a straight shot up to our destination. Looks like we'll be going through some clouds as well. Seven knots. Again, level at five or nine thousand. We have uh, one and a half nautical miles before we hit uh, Gimmick's waypoint.
see it out the front window before we hit our approach for ILS-9 to Skjordal. side is uh, military and the south side is civilian. Just like Niagara Falls Air Force Base, same thing.
9,900 feet uh, as per the uh, ILS approach for runway 09 at uh, Bernice. So we're heading to uh, Bamboo, and uh, that's the first fix for us, the um, southbound uh, entry to, to this approach. So we've got to be at uh, 2,900 feet by the time we get there. Then, uh, well, like I said, we'll make the right hand turn when we get to Lambo. That'll line us up with uh, runway 9, and we will uh, continue the approach from there. Do we need to do ILS? No, we don't. We uh, very much see where we're going. There's the fjord there. Absolutely beautiful. So I just bumped up our uh, descent to 1,400 feet per minute. Try to get this down to that 2,900 mark before we get to Bamboo. We are uh, about one minute out. 3.8 nautical miles away. And uh, like I said, the goal here is to not bounce this aircraft upon landing. But I can't make any promises. Uh, one thing I want to point out that I noticed, I don't know if you guys saw it during the time lapse. Um, I'm sure you probably did, but uh, Just Flight has done an awesome job modeling this, this uh, arrow. Um, I will slow it up here. Actually, we just overshot it, so let's climb a little bit. I'm sitting here talking instead of worrying about the approach. Uh, but when you go through the clouds with this thing, man, it just seems like it has a very realistic. Uh, for anyone who's ever gone through a cloud and a, a turboprop, it just has a very realistic sort of way it bounces. Very cool. Alright, so we're heading toward Lambo. We're 70 feet away from our target. So we'll back that up. And we are here. 2,900 feet. Man, that is beautiful. Just a reflection of the clouds off the uh, you're there. So, for whatever reason, if we miss our approach, uh, as you can see, I have the graphic up the uh, Jefferson chart for uh, Trendheim Norway's uh, approach here. If we uh, miss it, if we're going to climb out to heading 086 and 4,000 feet, we'll expect vectoring, which we really won't because we're not in contact with ATC. So, we will uh, do this one on our own. more than likely to the missed approach with lost communication. So we'll turn left, go direct to Urkix, and uh, climb to 4,100. Alright, so there's runway 9. It's a beautiful approach, just like I thought it would be. And we will begin heading to 1,800 feet. Want to be there by the time we get to and then I'm going to go ahead and activate our approach
mixture and the prop. Go ahead and gear down, landing light on. Go one notch flaps. switch to the right fuel tank by the time we touch down both of them will just be under 25 percent go ahead and turn the fuel pump on just in case we have to restart It's indicating we're a bit high, which we are indeed. We'll try and trim out here a little bit. There we go. Nose coming up. looking good now. Go another notch of flaps. That'll pitch us up beautifully. There we go. Just what we were looking for. Nicely done. And I see some general aviation aircraft there to the left, so I'm actually going to turn off here at Charlie. Follow that. Turned into an evening landing, it looks like here. All right. We will turn off landing, go to taxi, flaps up. Look for a marshal or somewhere. I don't see one. So I think we will park right next to this uh, caravan right here. Their back door open. Some pink party lights on there. And that. A little close to the taxiway, but that'll do. Didn't even have to bring up the taxi chart. We're still moving. Yeah, let's back up a little bit. And then we'll throw the parking brakes on. So we stop moving. Alright. So let's bring up the chart. Taxi chart. We have the airport info that we normally use. And there we are. We are parked in the military area. Where we should not be. But that's where the game has, uh, or the sim I mean, has the... Uh, general aviation planes so that's where we're gonna be but all in all I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the flight if you did hit the like subscribe uh, I'm gonna hopefully do some more posting and now that I have the GNS 430 I'm, I'm gonna look to really do a lot of that sim flights and uh, do things where they give me the routing and I input the routing in here um, I'm slightly, slightly familiar with these systems, but I do want to get a little bit more proficient at it, and practice makes perfect when you're doing that. So, uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Uh, Spencer, thanks for uh, giving me the idea for this flight. This is an absolutely beautiful approach. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it in real life or not, but if you did, you're one lucky person. Uh, and anybody else who wants to throw in the comments uh, any airports you want me to go to, take off from, go ahead and throw it in the comments. Uh, hit the like, subscribe, come sit right seat with me. See you on the next one, guys.